Hello and welcome back to Man vs Film. Happy 2021. It's a new year and, well, let's face it, it can't be any worse than last year, but we're going to start the year off with 10 fantastic movies for you to check out this month. So let's get started. Number 10, Blown Away. Jimmy Dove works for the Bomb Squad in Boston and he is always the one who is on the tough jobs. One day he decides to quit the force and become a teacher for the rookies. A few days later, his former partner is killed by a bomb and Jimmy becomes suspicious that maybe this bomb could have been built by a former friend of himself. And as he begins to investigate and finds out that his worst nightmare has returned from his past. Jeff Bridges stars as Jimmy in this kind of medium budget thriller movie that's really quite good. The key part in this is Tommy Lee Jones over the top Irish terrorist bomber who is literally chewing on all the scenery throughout all the movie. It's wonderfully over the top, it's incredibly uh, silly as well, it has a fantastic finale uh, on this big boat that's kind of sunken and abandoned. Terrific movie, really silly, really 90s and worth it just for Tommy Lee Jones' performance. Number 9, The Good Neighbour. A pair of mischievous high school kids create the illusion of a haunting on an unsuspecting elderly neighbour while keeping his every reaction under surveillance. A series of coincidences leads to tragedy. The key to this movie is James Cann's performance. Quite often it's filmed from hidden cameras uh, and you just get to see this person living his life uh, and watching these two kids take a little bit of uh, excitement out of torturing this old man who they see as cantankerous and antagonistic it was really quite twisted as well. It's a movie that goes places I wasn't really expecting and was genuinely pretty interesting and fun. Number 8. Porkies. Against the backdrop of sunny mid-50s Florida, Pee Wee, the sexually frustrated student of an Angel Beach High and his band of equally hormone-addled classmates have finally come up with a foolproof plan to lose their virginity. On the other side of town, in a small crocodile infested part of the Everglades, Lud Porky's Honky Tonk Strip Club has everything the boys need. However, when the dream turns sour, only revenge can right the wrong. Bob Clark's wonderfully hilarious comedy movie is a thing of beauty. I think I have watched it since the 80s growing up with it when I was far too young to watch it and I still find it hilarious to this day. I love all the antics that everybody gets up to. I love the characters. I even love the silly, over-the-top, eh, almost horseshoe and racial prejudice that has to be overcome eh, in the movie as well. And it gets to a riotous finale that's just so much fun. I love Porky's. If you've never seen it, you're in for a treat as well as a shock. Number seven, Thinner. A fat lawyer finds himself growing thinner when an old gypsy man places a hex on him. Now the lawyer must call upon his friends in organised crime to help him persuade the gypsy to love the curse. Time is running out for the desperate lawyer as he draws close to his own death and grows even thinner. This is a rather good Stephen King adaptation, one that often gets forgotten and I think it's one that is worth checking out. It's a short run time, it's a fun quirky script and the effects of the large man getting smaller throughout the movie is rather incredible. It gets a little bit unbelievable at times but it's still a fun thriller. Number 6 Cliffhanger While crossing... Number 6 Cliffhanger Whilst crossing a ledge 4,000 feet above the earth, Gabe's friend's equipment fails to work and she slips out of his hand, falling to the ground. Almost a year later, Gabe is asked to go back up the same mountain range and rescue a group of stranded people. The only catch is that these so-called stranded people are in fact looking for three boxes filled with a hundred million dollars and they need a mountain ranger to lead them to them. It's Cliffhanger, it's Stallone, it's bonkers but it's incredibly fun. Filmed and released in the early 90s it feels like a late 80s action movie. Quirky one-liners, ridiculously practical action, 
incredibly stupid, but incredibly entertaining. If it's one that you've not seen in a while, or just remember all the memes that came from it, maybe it's time to go back and check out this action spectacular. Number five, small soldiers. After military manufactured computer chips are put in a line of action figures, they end up with minds of their own and try to invade an Ohio suburb and do battle with another line of toys that have similar chips. Joe Dante's Small Soldiers is wonderful. I think it's just a great movie. You get these two warring factions of toys. You get the, the bad guys which are army characters led by Tommy Lee Jones and you get the good guys which are kind of monsters led by Frank Langella and they are wonderful. You get some human storyline through in but it's all about the special effects, the ridiculousness, the over the top. This was a firm favourite of mine when I was a kid. Number four, Manchester by the Sea. Lee Chandler is a brooding, irritable loner who works as a handyman for a Boston apartment block. One damp winter day, he gets a call summoning him to his hometown north of the city. His brother's heart has given out suddenly and he's been named guardian to his 16-year-old nephew. As if losing his only sibling and doubts about raising a teenager weren't enough, his return to the past reopens an unspeakable tragedy. Well, we were getting a little bit too light. I thought I had to throw in something really dramatic and we have Casey Affleck here in the lead role of this rather affecting drama movie that really does have some punches uh, to the gut throughout it. Terrific performances, especially from Michelle Williams who pops up in a pivotal moment in this. It's the relationship of two people, both uh, tinged by tragedy, both trying to overcome it and create a connection and it is just wonderful. It'll put you through the ringer, but it is wonderful. Number three, Johnny Mnemonic. The year is 2021 and half of the Earth's population is suffering from the disease known as Nerve Attention Syndrome. Johnny, a mnemonic data courier, is hired to carry 320 gigabytes of crucial information to safety from the Pharmacom Corporation. Pursued by the Yakuza agents and a crazed cyborg, Johnny must deliver the data or die in 24 hours. If you're looking for incredibly silly science fiction movies, I have the winner right here. Johnny Mnemonic starring Keanu Reeves as the titular character and this is a bonkers movie. It's basically an action chase movie with a ticking time bomb going all the way through it. I really like this one. I think it's incredibly fun, the action is wonderful and it has Dolph Lundgren who pops up as a preacher who is even more violent than any other character on the film. Silly? Yeah, I kind of like it. And it's set in 2021, so why the hell was I not going to put it on the list? Number two, True Lies. Harry Tasker leads a double life. At work, he's a government agent with a license to do just about anything. While at home, he pretends to be a dull computer salesman. He's on the trail of a stolen nuclear weapon that are in the hands of fanatical terrorists when something more important comes up. Harry thinks his wife might be seeing another man. James Cameron directs with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jamie Lee Curtis starring in this riotously great action movie. Unbelievable action set pieces, terrific comedic moments, a wonderful character turn by Bill Paxton as a seedy car salesman kind of uh, in this one. I love True Lies. I don't know why it doesn't have a big Blu-ray release in the UK yet. I just don't know, but it's worth checking out for the action and the comedy moments alone. I quite like the horse riding scene and the jet scene and well, too many scenes to mention. Number one, the lady from Shanghai. Michael O'Hara, against his better judgement, hires on as a crew member of Arthur Bannister's yacht, sailing to San Francisco. They pick up Grisby, Bannister's law partner en route. Bannister has a wife, Elsa, who seems to rather like Michael a lot. After they dock, Michael goes along with Grisby's weird plan to fake his murder so he can disappear. He wants £5,000 Grisby has offered so he can run off with Elsa. But Grimsby turns up actually murdered and Michael gets blamed for it. Somebody has set him up, but it's not clear who or how. Orson Welles stars in this movie and it's just wonderful. Takes a little bit of time to ease you into what's actually happening here, but it's an 
easy to see why Wells was such a remarkable star. He captivates the screen whenever he's on it. You can't take your eyes off him. Uh, he can do so much with the littlest movements. You get a wonderful noir story here that twists and turns as a man paid to kill somebody, but when they actually turned up dead, he's framed for that murder and just doesn't know what to do. I'll explain the situation and to tell you any more would really spoil it, but I wanted to put this one on the list because I'd be surprised if a lot of you had seen it, but I really do feel that it's worth checking out. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this one. So there we have it. 10 fantastic movies for you to check out in January, New Year, new list of movies and let's hope it's going to be a much better year. I hope you find something here that you really liked, something that sparked a, a bit of interest in you. If I've missed something off my list or if, if there is something that should have been on it, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.